Hi friends. Today I'm here with Faith. She's a 23 year old quarter horse mare and she's going to help me teach you to pick feet today. If you're just like me when you got into horses, you're excited and you're ready to get started, but you don't know how, then today's video is for you. There is definitely an order of where you want to start when you groom your horse. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick feet today. Picking feet is the most important part because it's the part that you can't see just to the naked eye when you look at the horse. I'm able to tell if Faith has a cut or a scratch or an injury by just taking a look at her. But what I can't see is what's going on in her feet and underneath her hooves. And that's why picking feet is so important. If I was only going to pick one thing I could do when I groom, the most important part is to pick feet. Unfortunately, it's usually the last thing people do in their grooming procedure. It's the first thing that I do and the first thing that I recommend you do too. The reason you should pick feet first is because the potential of having something uncomfortable going on with your horse's foot. Your horse could have a loose shoe, a missing shoe, a sprung shoe, a rock in their foot. They may have stepped on a sharp stone and have an injury there. They could have stepped on a nail and it might be lodged in their foot. If you live in a winter climate, that hoof may be packed with snow, making it uncomfortable and unbalanced for that horse to walk. So the very first thing that we always do is pick feet. The other reason we pick feet first is if you pick feet, and it is an emergency situation. Let's say there's a nail in your horse's foot and that needs to be seen by a veterinarian. Or if your horse has a twisted shoe or is missing a shoe, you wanna know that right away so you can contact your vet or your farrier while they're able to get to your horse. The very first thing you wanna do when you're grooming your horse is walk up to the front of your horse and just let that horse see who you are. Let them see you out of both eyes, maybe let them sniff you. They may want to sniff the tool that you have in your hand or your jacket. Um, Faith here has no issues with this process, but not every horse has. So to be fair, I think it's an important step rather than just rushing in and trying to pick up a leg or brush a face or take hold of their tail. Horses are prey animals, so their instinct for fight or flight especially flight, is pretty high. You want to make sure that they're comfortable and also that you have, you want to make sure that you've kind of assessed how that horse might be feeling today. Obviously, this horse is relaxed and she's quiet. That's great, but not everybody is. So if you're working on a horse that's new to you or new to an environment, might be a little bit more anxious, they may need a minute before you just go right in and start working with the brushes and picking feet. We've got two hoof picks here that I'm going to start with. This one has a brush. This one does not. I'm going to use the brush one today. Either one works exactly the same. The brush is nice because you can really clean the sole of the foot and the wall of the outside of the foot and get that dirt and debris out, but it's not a necessity. Always out of habit, before I pick up a horse's foot, I'm always going to touch that horse with my hand somewhere on their body. If they're really nervous or they're shying away from me, I may even have somebody hold them to help support them. And also um, I may just touch them with my grooming tool if they're nervous. That's not the case here. But if a horse were maybe not paying attention, they were distracted, they were scared or they were aggressive, and the first thing I go to do is touch the bottom of their leg, they may have more of a negative reaction to that and people get upset that the horse is doing something wrong or they're trying to kick them or paw them, a lot of times that's just a surprise and that's their reaction. So if you just walk up to them, put your hand on their body, and then start to go to work, it's going to go a lot better. On that note also, when I'm grooming a horse, especially picking feet, I have an order to it. I always start at the front. I start on their left side so if I'm looking forward, my left hand's here, my right hand's here. This would be her left side. We lead, we lead horses from the left side, so they're more comfortable usually with people working on them on the left side than the right. It's a great place to start. 
There's no special order to picking feet. However, I always use the same order. I always start on the left side, do left front, then left hind, then I work around the back, right hind, and right front. The reason that I've done that is it's got a clear order to it, and I feel like if you are consistent with that order, your horse will remember that order. They are great at remembering patterns of things. That's how they survive. So whatever you decide to do, if you do front feet first, if you start on their right side, if you start with their hind feet first, none of them are wrong. Um, it's more of an advantage to start with the front feet. They're a little bit easier. And if your horse is unsure, um, it's probably a little safer place to start. So right now this horse is resting a foot. If she's got that one off the ground, it's gonna be hard to get this one off the ground too. So in this scenario, I might push on her a little bit to see if she puts that some weight on that hind foot. Another thing I can do is back her up or bring her forward and that should do it. So as you're going to pick up a foot, know that if another foot is resting, you're gonna have a really hard time picking up that other leg. I'm going to start at the shoulder, staying in contact with the horse's body, staying fairly close and facing backwards. I'm gonna hold right in this area between their knee and their ankle, and then lift up the leg. I'm gonna use my right hand to momentarily hold the hoof, then I'm gonna use my left hand to come around so that way it's secure in my hand. I'm gonna hold this leg up at a level that's comfortable for the horse. If I'm working on a pony, it's gonna be low, and if I'm working on a very tall horse, it's gonna be a little bit higher. I'm going to start in the corner of the hoof using the pick end, and I'm going to pick out. You can see there's a lot of dirt and debris in this hoof. And on a healthy hoof, it is okay to pick and scrape. You can work forwards and you can also work backwards. The grooves of their foot, you will want to clear that of all the debris. You can use your brush and you can get out that extra dirt. When you set the hoof down, make sure your feet are out of the way and just slowly release the hoof. They may wanna set it where they wanna set it and that's okay. Some horses will try to pull that hoof away from you. You want them to know that they can put their hoof down when you say they can put their hoof down. So if they're trying to take their foot away from you before you're done, Stay safe, but go ahead and keep a hold on that hoof. And when you're finished or when they stop trying to take their foot away, then you can set that hoof back down as a reward. After doing the front left hoof, I'm going to move to doing the hind hoof. So I do want this horse to be aware of where I'm at. I'm going to keep in contact with them. It's not mandatory, but it lets this horse know where I'm at. Also keep in mind, if you can see the horse's eye, then that horse can see where you're at. If you're in an area where you cannot see the eye or maybe you can only see the eyelash, that horse is going to not have a view of where you're at. That can be okay, but just expect that that horse might have a little bit different reaction if they don't have an eye on you at all times. So as I go to pick the hind foot up, I'm going to stand fairly close. In general, the closer you are, if the horse does try to kick, it's going to be less of an impact than if you are standing further out and they get a full swing. Um, with that being said, if the horse that you're working on is nervous, is not used to being tied, has not been handled a lot, work with a second person and take your time. So I'm going to put my hand on the horse, slide my hand down their body. When I get to the hock, I'm going to put my hand on the inside of the leg I'm gonna softly pick up, Woo. right hand under the hoof, left hand supporting the hoof. I'm gonna let her leg come down a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and pick that foot out. Now, if you can see this, Faith has shoes on the front, she does not have shoes behind. So there's a little less to take out here. 
As I set it down, I'm gonna slowly release the hoof and I'm gonna let her place it where it's comfortable. On some of these horses that have a little bit of age or arthritis or they are maybe stiff, they could be out of condition or they might have an injury, they are going to take their time when they put their foot down to make sure it's comfortable for them and they've got their balance and stability and that's okay. So I get questions all the time. How high do I pick the foot up? Do I pick it up where it's comfortable for me? Do I try to pick it while it's on the ground resting like this? And the answer is what's comfortable for the horse. So you are going to need to bend over and you are going to be taking on some of the weight of this horse. A horse like this probably weighs 1,100 pounds you won't be lifting 250 pounds when you pick the leg up, but there is going to be some weight associated with, with it. And the best way to do it is to do what's comfortable for the horse. I'm going to start on this side of the horse. I'm going to stay close, closer is safer. If your horse does go to kick or react, if you're closer, you're still gonna feel it, but it's not gonna be the full swing of the leg. I wanna keep a hand on my horse if possible, and about that distance. I don't have to be this close, but I wanna be about an arm's width away. I wanna look at my horse, note their expression, know that I can see their eye. For me, I usually talk to the horse as I pass behind, just as a rule. On this horse, she is broke and desensitized really well, just as a habit. I like to use my voice when I work around the horse, I think it can be soothing for them if they're anxious. Um, I do feel like they can understand at least your tone and your intention in your voice. And if you do it as a habit, then for the horse that really does need it, it's automatic. Okay, we have now crossed over to the other side. And as you can see, I'm kind of tucked in a corner here. So out of safety, I wanna move this horse over. If I go to do that, I'm gonna first look up at their eye, make sure I can see their eye and their expression. I'm gonna apply a little pressure. I might add a little voice, a cluck. I'm gonna keep going. And I'm just gonna reposition this horse where it's safe for me and I have a little bit more room. And also it's a little less claustrophobic for the horse. She can clearly see me with this eye now and see what I'm doing. And it's just a safer place to be, especially when working with the hind feet. Okay, we're still continuing the order. I did left front, left hind. Then I came over to the right side and now I'm gonna work on right hind. As you can see, this horse is still quiet and relaxed, still resting that left hind. So, if there's not weight on the left hind, there's going to be more weight on the right hind. So before I pick this right hind up, I'm going to have to shift weight over to the left hind. I'm going to just push on her hip bone. She put the weight on both feet evenly now. I'm going to proceed to picking her foot. I'm going to start at the top, let her know that I'm here. Run my hand down her leg as I get to the hock, this bony part. I'm going to slide my hand on the inside. It helps me lift the leg. She knows what to expect because we've done it in the same order. So she's already taken weight off, making my life easier. I'm gonna get myself in a position that's comfortable for me. I'm going to lift the leg gently, use my left hand to grasp the toe. And I pick better with my right hand. So I actually rest my elbow on my left knee for support. And then I go ahead and pick that hoof out. I've seen it where people will go ahead and hold the hoof with their right hand on the side. Either position is okay and pick with their left hand. The right way to do it is what's comfortable for you. I'm holding the hoof fairly low. That's where this horse is comfortable. Softly let the leg down and let her place it. If she wants to stay rested, that's okay. Good girl. Also, if you're working with a horse that is nervous or struggles with a hoof and through the work, they allow you to pick it up, maybe it's not perfect. Um, on some horses, when we start this process, 
we lift their foot up and they either can't hold it up long enough, don't know, um, they don't have the confidence to do so. A younger horse might not be sure, they may not have their balance. It's okay even if you set the hoof pick down and just go around and practice picking the feet up, getting comfortable with it yourself. And then when you feel like you're comfortable and you're balanced, then going back with the hoof pick and picking the feet. Because it looks easy when you see somebody do it, but the fact is it's super awkward when you go to pick these legs up, especially you're switching hands. If you're right-handed or left-handed, their legs, front legs and back legs, bend opposite direction. Some will feel heavier than other ones just depending on how their weight distribution is. Age and stage and tolerance plays into all of that. Now we are ready to move towards her right front leg. I'm going to walk forward. Note my horse's expression. They can see my eye. Start at the shoulder, run my hand down. As I get to these tendons and ligaments behind their cannon bone, she lifts the foot up. We've gone in the same order, so this is familiar for her. It's almost like getting your horse trained to do the work for you. I'm going to take my left hand, support the bottom of the hoof, take my right hand. You can start anywhere. I like to start just in the corner and work towards the center, finding the grooves of the horse's foot and anywhere where dirt or stone might be trapped. On a healthy foot, firmer is better. Sometimes you'll get a piece of the hoof sheds a little bit like this. If you can just easily pull it off with your hand, then then you can go ahead and take that part of the hoof. I'm going to let her set it down. Good girl. And give her a little pet. If you like this video and it brought you value, it would mean the most to us if you could subscribe to the channel. That helps us make more content just like this for people just like you.